So next, we're going to take action or decide what will I do. And here, we've got a pretty high stakes situation. So we review the diagnostic results for this client who is unresponsive and has no palpable pulse. We observe that they've got gasping respirations. And then when we look at their EKG, we see this. So what is you guys' interpretation of what's happening with this client? I'll let you kind of, if you, if you think you know what rhythm interpretation this is, you can leave it in the chat box. But everybody kind of consider, which action do I take? Do I initiate chest compressions, give IV push atropine, get a 12 lead electrocardiogram, or deliver rescue breaths with a bag valve mask? And I see everybody is selecting one. Okay. Does anyone know what? No one wants to tell me what their rhythm interpretation is. Okay, Joy says asystole. Right. Laura Bell says PEA. Okay. All right, one and two. Okay, so let's talk about this. I've got a sinus Brady, three. All right, any of these would be actions that I'm eventually going to want to take, but I'm going to give you a hint. The only piece of information that you need to answer this question is right here. No palpable pulse, right? If they don't have a pulse, it doesn't matter what the EKG shows. None, nothing else matters. If they don't have a pulse, they don't have a heartbeat, and we need to initiate chest compressions. And I think a couple of you got this correct where yes, our EKG shows a rhythm that looks like sinus bradycardia, but if we don't have a pulse, that just means all this is is electrical activity. There's electricity moving from the heart, but it's not actually generating a heartbeat. So we need to immediately initiate chest compressions, high quality chest compressions to start pumping that blood through the body, yes. But why might we have fallen for these others? Okay, IV push atropine, that would be for bradycardia with a pulse. Because in that case, there's no issue. The electricity is generating a heartbeat, just not fast enough heartbeat. So we give IV atropine to speed it up. All right, obtaining a 12-lead electrocardiogram. Again, we don't really need that information. It doesn't matter what it shows. It could show a perfect sinus rhythm, and we would still give chest compression. So this is not going to be so useful. Then delivering rescue breaths with a bag valve mask. This might be helpful for someone who has gasping respirations and a pulse like in the case of an opioid overdose where we just need to give some rescue breathing. But never forget, pulseless client, chest compression. And don't be afraid to do it, you guys. At some point in your nursing career, you're gonna be the person to find a patient pulseless and you need to jump on those chest compressions because every moment that you wait, their brain tissue is dying. So please remember this. And uh, again, only about half of our users got this right. So you guys uh, don't forget this, pulseless patient, chest compressions.